So the art of being sensitive to the Holy Spirit. And, and so sometimes, I've, what I've learned is this, sometimes less is more. Most of the time, less is more. I remember this one time, we were in this dead church. This one night, the Lord said, just lay hands on everybody till they all fall out. And so that was the service, you know? So I went and I preached a little bit and then I started laying hands on everybody. And so I just told the people, let God finish what he started. You know, if you went in for a, a surgery and they cut your guts open, would you at least let them sew you up before you went home? Or would you just get up and you're just, your entrails are running all over the place and you're, I gotta go home quickly, right? So that's what many people do when they don't yield to the Spirit and just let God finish touching their hearts. Amen. So that's what I told them in that church in, in uh, Mich Michigan. And so, long story short, I laid hands on everybody and there was no more room. There was a lady that fell under the power right here and there was one spot left. And I look and there's a guy walks in, God's honest truth, he walks in as I'm finishing. I look at this guy go, hey, you, come, come on down. And this guy goes, no, 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 no. He's got something in his arm, right? I don't know what he's doing. I didn't know he came to serve his wife divorce papers at the church. Is that wicked, huh? Guess who she was? This one right here. See, now I didn't know that. So I, we as traveling ministers, pastors never tell us anything. So it's just the, the spirit of God. You understand? I said, just put your crap down and come down here. So he come, I don't know what he's got in his hand, right? So he comes on down and he's like, he wants to stand here. I said, no, brother, come over here and stand right here. He's like, no, no. I said, brother, give me a grab him. I was so irritated with him and I pull him over. Now, I didn't know I was being led by the Spirit. You understand? I said, lift your hands. So I lay hands on him. Power of God hits him. He falls. His hand falls in his wife's hand like that. And he starts sobbing. Whew, makes me cry just thinking about it. This guy starts sobbing. And he reaches over and starts hugging on her. I'm like, whoa, brother. Hey, man, wait a second. You don't even, you don't even know this woman. I'm like, he's going to make out with this woman, and she's under the power. So the, the pastor now comes up. He comes up behind me. He goes, just leave it. That's his wife. I'm like, oh, really? <laughs> I had no idea. And the two start embracing, just sobbing, just bawling their guts out, right? And start hugging on each other. They were there till 1 in the morning, and God saved that marriage. But I never said a word prophetically. I didn't need to say a word. Holy Spirit filled in all the blanks. One touch of being sensitive to the Holy Spirit did more than all of the sermons that he had heard before.